Hi guys, it's Sunday, August the 5th, and it's a hot one. It is 96 inside in the shade with the roof on and the reflective insulation, insulated barrier. So, it's still warm in here. No insulation. That's coming Tuesday or Thursday, but Tuesday's supposed to rain, so I'm not sure if they'll be able to come then or not. So, John's been working like crazy. I helped him wire up some of the outlets and everything. He did all the switches, but he's got, we're up and running. We have electricity. John wired us. So, everything that's running in here, like this fan, is because John hooked us up to the electric. So, we got our outlets, and as he just showed you, he just showed you an outlet that has an ethernet cord coming out of it so he's put four places in the house with the ethernet cord so we can hardwire so we don't always have to have Wi-Fi bouncing around in here and this is going to be the wall for the bedroom um, I have a friend who's building a nice big house on the 47 acres next to us and we went into her house and saw how um, pocket doors were installed so there's going to be a pocket door here into the master bedroom. Or let's just say into John and my bedroom. Not necessarily the master because there's no ensuite to it, right? And then down here, we're going to have three pocket doors. Into the bedrooms, 32 inches. The bathroom is only 5 feet, so it's a 30 inch pocket door which will go into here. This is the pocket door going into my mom's room. So John is framing it in. We're getting this um, put in. We gotta frame in the door first. That's what he came up with because I would have done it back asswards. And so we got the door going in. Then John's begun the framing, this is still needs to be moved around and stuff and put in here. But this will be back into the pocket door. Then we're going to frame this up. And we've come to the conclusion that we do want a pipe coming up, a gas, propane gas pipe coming up. Because we'll hang a little heater on the wall here. So that we'll always have a warm bathroom if needed. And we're going to go ahead and leave the ceiling on this side. I was going to have it as a drop ceiling, hence the wires hanging down. John will have to mess with that since we've changed our mind again. But um, he'll take care of that, and then we'll just have a raised ceiling in here, too. This could, will so have cathedral to, ceilings. Not cathedral. C cathedral, or whatever you call it. It's not cathedral. They're raised. Yeah. Open. Open ceilings. And so this is going to have the drop ceiling because I need a place to put the whole house fan inside of. A little pocket here. And Which I is going to go up up over here somewhere. On this wall into the living area. Yeah. But a drop ceiling also for my exhaust fan. I have a really nice exhaust fan. Quiet. Pulls lots of air out. Moisture out. It'll go here too. And be taken care of. So... Our window's in, um, water's going to hit it, but it's vinyl all the way around. And we're going to turn the mechanisms to where they're up on top. So kind of flip the whole window around, and then we'll be able to have... I won't be able to sit in the bathtub and look out like I was hoping, but at least air movement, air flow would be nice. We've had Tom Turkey come for a visit. Tom Tom's getting very big. Hi, Tom Tom. Hi, Tommy. What are you doing, buddy? He's been hanging out. He's been sleeping with the chickens, and during the day, he hangs out with the other, the, the girls, the two girl turkeys. So, as soon as John's done with this wall, we'll do this one, and then we'll do the plumbing for the toilet. Cut down, do the plumbing for the bathtub. The, we talked to a plumber at Lowe's. And he suggested instead of going up the roof with the vent pipe, to just vent it down underneath since we're about, what, 
two and a half, three foot up off the ground here. So we're going to vent underneath instead of having holes in the roof that we have to worry about. The least amount of holes we can put up there, the better we are. We are going to have to vent the exhaust fan out, so there's going to be one. But other than that, we don't really want to vent out. Uh, but we'll build this wall next. It's going all the way to the ceiling because, of course, this is an open ceiling too. This will be in the only drop ceiling we have. Open ceiling into the bedroom. And so today, build walls, do plumbing, whether it be plumbing for water or plumbing for propane. We need to do that. And we, it also has to go on the outside wall for the mudroom. It's all going to run down this wall. It'll all come out here. We'll have a freezer on this side. John's decided to bring in all of our uh, water management system, our two pressurized tanks, plus all of our filtration system. And that will hang up here, or maybe over here. There will be a little propane heater also in the mudroom because that's going to be kind of our dog area, baby chicken area when we get them, um, you know, the brooding room for everything that we get, plus freezer here. And then when you walk out, since we're bringing all of our water management systems into here, that meant we had to make some more room for the washer and dryer, which will go over on this side. We'll add four foot on the other side of the door to the mudroom. So the mudroom will be six foot by 20 feet instead of six by 16. And um, then we'll be able to hang all of our coats and stuff out there, which will be awesome because we're only getting a tiny closet. But we, we've gotten all the way down to hardly any clothes, huh, honey? Yeah. It's not like we need massive amounts of clothes anymore. We're down to trailer size closets. And we're used to that. So we'll stick with that. This is what we're doing today. And as you can see, John's also tested out all the light cir um, circuits. Go hit the light switch over there. Oh, and this is a three-way that he put in for me. So if we come in from the back of the house when we drive up, we come in. I can flip this light on, and that'll be the only light in the house that comes on, so at least we can see. And over by the south door, I can flip that switch on, and so we'll always have a light we can flip on. Then our other lights are um, for the mudroom, and what are the rest of them? There's yeah. ambient light, spotlight. Spotlights for outside, and then out by the mudroom door, just the little light that hangs over it so you can see to unlock the door. That's the other light. We're moving along. Here's what we're going for. We're going for September 1 or no later than September 3 to be inside our little house. I'm not saying we'll have all the walls covered. It'll be insulated. All the plumbing will be running. Everything will be working. The walls will be up. Um, we haven't quite figured out exactly what we're putting on the walls. Some will be sheetrock, some will be wood. That means we have to sell the trailer and get the money for the uh, solar fridge and some of the other stuff too. Yeah, the trailer needs to be sold, so we want the trailer up for sale somewhere close to the 1st of September. I think that's when dove season opens. So we're thinking maybe, and if you know anyone, who's interested in a trailer for hunting or camping or living in. We have one that we've done a lot of work on. Still needs some work, but sometime the first September, it'll be up for sale. And that's it, guys. That's it. So we're going to keep creating our little magical home. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. Comment down below. Let us know. Make sure you click the bell so you get the little updates. But please, um, let us know what you think. It's all a learning process to us. We're new at all of this. <laughs>